Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 21. Oh, three weeks of Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think about today's farm. And the contest is also in two and a half hours, I think. Daylight savings is always confusing. So definitely wish me luck. Also, this will be a good warm up. Though today's farm is construct binary tree from in order and post order traversal. So, okay. I mean, this seems like a very standard problem that, uh, at least it was very standard when I was kind of starting out because this is just literally a, a problem that you get from a textbook. And people would always try to get you to like study it, um, or at least be very well aware of it um, because of that reason. Um, so yeah, so the thing that I would think about for this problem and, you know, it's just trying to figure out the invariants and then kind of do it one node at a time. Uh, I don't actually like have this memorized or anything, but I probably have to idea because, you know, because um, it is so common. But, uh, but basically given, say, these kind of inputs, um, what am I trying to look for, right? Um, oh, one thing I would say is I am solving this live, so please, uh, if it's a little bit slow, just fast forward or watch it on a faster speed. But yeah, so basically, we, in order, what does that mean, right? In order means that um, you have, you know, left, middle, and then right, right? Left, or, uh, node, and then right, maybe. And then post order is uh, left, right, and then node, right? So, okay. So what does that mean? Mm, that means that that means that you know um, we can s figure out a way to you know do a recursion type thing, right? Um, that means that L is going to be in the beginning, um, and then we do it recursively. So that that part is maybe okay, but we have to figure out how, right? Um, hmm. So what does that mean? Hmm. I don't remember this one. Huh. But yeah, all the values are unique and n is 3000, so n squared is probably okay. Um, but yeah, that means that all the prefix for as long as it is equal, um, then the prefix is going to be the left subtree, right? Um, in this case, there's only one node, so maybe it's not a good representation, but you can imagine you have something like um, I don't know, something like this. Oops, what did I click on? Then what does this mean? That means that for the prefix that is the same, uh, is in the left subtree. Hmm. I mean, well, um, is that true? Huh. Oh, actually, hmm. Maybe, okay. <laughs> now I think about it. I think I was trying to think about it too much on the previous tree. But I think actually, one thing that is in, because um, the thing that I think is a little bit uh, complicated is that, you know, left, you might say left node, right? Uh, left obviously is a subtree, and right is a subtree, and node is just a node, right? And here we actually do have a consistent way to figure out what is. Um, what is just one node at a time. And given that we can figure out one node at a time, then we can construct, then we could, you know, do that split, right? Um, and here, we know that the last node, and we can find this in a very easy way because the post on a post order, the node is um, at the end because it's post order. And because this node is at the end, then we know that three is going to be the root because that's just the definition of this. And I say root, maybe is, it, is root better? I don't know. But yeah. But then now we can look this up and then we can sub the right on the left and the right. And we know that this is the left and this is the right. And then we recursively do this, right? So here, mm, okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's the idea. Let me think about how to kind of split this in half, right? Um, well, the, how do you split this in a good way? Um, well, you know that 20 is going to be the root of the right tree. Hmm. And here, uh, in the in order, you know that the left node, so you find this node, the left node is going to be the same because it's in the beginning. It's a little bit 
hacky to say. I mean, of course, you can do this in n squared time, and then you don't have to know what I'm talking about. So what what I'm talking about right now is try to figure out a fast way of finding these things, so that we can do it in O of one finding these things. Because um, if we if we take a linear scan, we can definitely do that. But if we do a linear scan and we have n nodes for, for each root then it's going to end up being n squared, right? Um, but if we're trying to figure out how to do it in linear time, um, and to be honest, yeah, um, then, then that means uh, finding out these boundaries things. Um, let's see, let me think about whether this is true, though, to be honest. Because right now we're only dealing with one level nodes uh, for the most part. So, hmm. so the left, will, oh, no, 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 okay. So the leftmost node on the tree it's going to be on the first chunk of whatever, uh, of a subtree. So therefore, because the reason why that is, uh, or the reason why I made that statement, um, you know, technically, I guess I haven't proved it yet, is because you keep on going left first, right, on both in order and post order. So that means that on the leftmost side of that tree, assuming that this is a, a, rounded sub, uh, a rounded thing, it's always going to be on the first node. So, okay, so that means that, okay, our I, our step by step is um, okay. Given a node, we have to because okay. So here, let me let me say this in a little differently. Um, so here, our steps is that we got the root node. You know, we find it, and let's just say we have it. Um, and then we look at we know that we divide the left and the right, and then here we want to divide the post order from left to right. And he, and because we know that the right node's leftmost element it's going to be the next element. Um, we can just look up here on the post order and then divide it this way. And then now you match this with this and the nine with nine and you're done. And, and you can do this in linear time with a lot of, um, a lot of keeping track of things. Uh, so let's give it a go. This is, uh, you know, this is, um, you know, this is a, a Saturday. So let's give it a, let us give it a spin. Uh, you know, I am a little bit hungry, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the first thing that uh, it is to do is keep track of the positions um, so that you can basically, yeah, a lot of this did have when I talk about it, do have the positions in mind because of that event, essentially, because they're unique, you know how to jump to the three, right? Um, without doing a linear scan, so that's basically the thing. Um, so let's do in. I don't know, whatever, something like that is you go to enum uh, enumerate in order and then reverse it, right? Uh, for x or uh, index x in this, we want to map uh, xi, right? Something like that. Does that work? Always a little bit shaky on the syntax because I don't use Python as much as I used to. Okay, fine. Uh, Oh, I guess technically this is maybe this is better. Huh. Don't remember the syntax. Sorry, friends. But as you can see, I don't need to. Um, hmm, is this the proper syntax? I don't. You don't need to know the the language to solve these problems. Uh, I mean, you do eventually, but but you know, like when I when I get questions about why don't I do it in certain order, uh, that's why. I, it doesn't really matter, right? Like I can do this in any languages, sure, maybe I have to Google it a little bit more. Uh, and maybe I could put this in a function actually, but because there is some copy and paste going. Uh, okay, so let's say we have these things and then now we want, um, let's say we have a built tree. Um, we have a, uh, eh. I want to. I want to say that. Hmm, what do I want to say? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think what I want to say in left, in right. Uh, th these variable names are terrible. Maybe I. Uh, eh, whatever. Keep it here. Uh, and then post left, post right. Um, and here we can. Yeah. If. This is one node. Do we check that? I don't know. Does that matter? Uh, yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's say. So what did the, what did we say the algorithm was recursively? We said that okay, the last node on the post order is what we're going to look at. Uh, current is you go to um, post 
order the right side of the post order so that's post order post right um at the last node right okay and then now we find it in the in order so this is going to be in position of current is you go to the in um in middle maybe <laughs> in root okay fine in root right um so that 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 gives us this and then now we want to let's just build a tree node of what's my value is you go to um so this is the index so this is in order of in root right I guess we don't need this technically so yeah so node is equal to this we return node at the end and then we're going to build the left right left is equal to um let's see well maybe um okay so the right left most is equal to uh what is the right left most equal to right so we look at here so that it's going to be um uh, in root plus one. We have to do a lot of validation, but I'm just kind of sussing out what I need to do. Um, and then here, write that, note that right. Um, and then now the new post left will be the lookup of this. So it's equal to, um, hmm. uh, so the right side, post left is equal to, <laughs> I hope this is okay to follow. Uh, I am going it very slowly be, um, because I am doing it as I'm saying it. So it's not like I'm, I have this memorized or anything like that. Oh, oops, post. So we want the position of, um, so here we want the position in the post order. So yeah, up the, well, this is the node Y. This is the index, not the, okay. So we actually want, in order of this, we have to do some validation. But um, yeah, okay. So this is you go to post position of the basic the inverse of the value. So then now we're here, and then now we can do the right. We built. Um, what did we build? So what is the the right? The right is now in root plus one and post right. All the way at the end. Oh no! Uh, nope. This is eh, 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 in right because we're looking at the inside. Uh, so yeah. So we just this is just to um, build this part, and then on the right on the post order side, we want to build this part, which is basically from row post left, uh, right post left, and uh, post right plus one, I guess, or minus one. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, and then left, left is just from the, on the in order, it's just going to be in left plus one, or sorry, in left, and then in right, or uh, in root minus one. And then on the right side, on the post order, we have this right most. Yeah, um, so you have that on the right side minus one, yeah. And then on the left side, it's just post left. So something like this. And then you can build uh, zero to n, I suppose. And yeah, and when I was building these, I, I you always go back to referencing these because this just helps me with the visualization. So this is mostly okay, should be in theory, um, but of course, but uh, of course, um, we have to do some validation and base case. So, in, oops. maybe that's it. Uh, I think there's one more here because I, I referenced this. But <sighs> okay. So what if the what if the node last the node here is the last node here? I think that's the only case that I have to fix, um, eh, which makes this a little bit yucky. Um, Hmm. 
How do I want to say? I mean, I could add. So yeah, you can and I can add if statement just to check that out. But I, but I want to think about if if there is a a slightly cleaner way. But but yeah. Hmm. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I think one thing that I mean, I, I was trying to build up these lookup things. Uh, which is fine, and th this is the way to do it. But one thing that I think I, I did not realize is that because the sizes are different or uh, sizes are the same, um, you know, like the invariant is that the sizes, right? So here we know that the left side is going to be size one. So that means that in the post order, um, because of the left, that is also going to be one. So let's do it that way instead, because I think the way I did this here is a little bit funky. Um, okay. So let's say we look at the, so yeah, that, that's index it. In root contains the in order position of the root, right? So then that means that uh, left size is equal to, oh, I don't know why I wrote it. So that means that the size of the left is equal to in root minus in left, right? Um, maybe off by one, I have to think about this. Uh, plus, plus one. No, because uh, if they're the same, they're zero. Okay, I think this is maybe right. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then now, well, this this is still right. Um, but then now we can write this in a different way, right? Uh, so what is the? Well, let's. What, now we can write the left side first. Um, the left side is well in left. It's the left still, and then in left plus left size. Um, and then post on the post side is the same thing with post left, post left, and then post left plus left size. Okay, so this is I think much easier to understand and fewer edge cases. That's why we wrote it. Uh, and then here, what's the right right? So we start with in root plus one on the in order, um, and then. Yeah, and then in right, so that's good. Uh, actually, in here, we can actually just do in root minus one anyway. Hmm. So, because we, yeah. Uh, here, we wouldn't get the size, though. Though we know that the same size, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then here, uh, we go, okay, this is the right size. Um, so we do, 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 do. Uh, this is the this part and now to do the post order which is a um, little bit confusing but let's see uh, so it's the size of the left plus so it's post left plus the size of the left right so that's just the prefix of this and then it goes all the way to um, I guess just post right minus one, something like that, because we just got rid of the root, right? So that so we know that this is gonna be here. Okay, I think now this is all our base case, except for maybe if we have one node, maybe that's okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if this works. I, maybe I'm missing an if statement, but uh, yeah. Oh, hmm. what's post right? Why is this index out of order? Hmm. Oh, it should be n minus one. Whoops, it's inclusive bounds. Whoops, how did that get there? Hmm, that's wonky. Well, it's good that we have these assur assertions because we w they should really be. Um, I mean, this assertion definitely should be true. So let me stab it off by one here somewhere. Maybe uh, let's see. Zero four zero four, okay, and then hmm, and then it tries to build the left, uh, which is fine. And then zero one. Oh, because these are inclusive, not the size. So this is okay. This is minus one. Whoops. Uh, I this is where off by one comes in sometimes. Is if you don't really define what it means. Uh, and let me do that here, right? Um, so in left is you go. Oh, sorry. This is. This defines the inclusive bounds of the in order and post order. And of course, size is equal to in 
right minus in left plus one, right? Because if they're the same, then you have one element because it's an inclusive bound. Okay, now we have a wrong answer. Why is that? Because this is negative one somehow. Hmm. Well, maybe that's not the only reason why, but... Um, hmm. Oh, I just don't return anything. Wait. Why do I return none? Why do I return node? None node. Oh, I don't return this. Whoops. Okay, that's a silly thing, but that that's easier to fix. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Um, hmm. I usually like to test a, a few more, but I am a, I don't know if there's easy way to kind of construct these things. Uh, I mean, so what you would do is you, uh, in order to, if you want really want to be testing, then you could generate a random test case, uh, and that would be. And what you would do is just print out the in order and then post order. Like you would create the tree and then just create, you know, print out. So you, given a random tree, you know, the in order, post order and pre order, and then you just put it in. That's what, something that I would do. Uh, let's just give it a submit and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Ah, I, that was a year and change ago. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if I did it faster this time. Hmm. But uh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I, I did this in a sloppy way t today, uh, to be honest. And it seems like we don't even need this. Um, how did I do it last time? Uh, actually, mostly the same, hmm. except for maybe better variable names. Uh, hmm. Oh, because I uh, I did this non-local thing instead of doing it uh, part of this. Okay, I mean that's good too. You probably find that video from last year. Uh, okay, yeah, so what is the time complexity? Of course, this is going to be linear time and linear space. You can get around with linear space. Uh, it is also the size of the stack uh, for the recursive stack. But of course, you have to return the, uh, you have to return all of n nodes. So you can't really get away from that. Um, yeah, in terms of time, we look at each node once in this recursion. Uh, we create each node once, right? And there's no, Iteration or loops, uh, it just does two ish recursive call every time. Um, but but yeah, that's going to be all of one per call. So this is linear time in total. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy. Hope you'll have a good contest we're doing later. Uh, but yeah, to good mental health and take care of yourself. Bye bye.